Hello and welcome to another DocuWare how-to video presented by Mike and Technologies, a DocuWare Platinum partner and Diamond Club member located in St. Louis, Missouri. Today, I'm going to go over how to use version control in DocuWare version 6.12. If you haven't already watched our video on how to build a file cabinet, I suggest checking that out before starting this video. So DocuWare 6.12 continues to include version control management, uh, which started in version 5.1c uh, several years ago. This allows an organization to use version control for all the shared documents and forms, and can be assured that only the most current documents are used. There is an issue that must be discussed before you build a file cabinet that will be used for version control. You can choose to use version management or can be used as satellite, but not both. In this exercise, we are using a file cabinet I already built uh, for the accounting department. So let's begin by opening our web client and going to our configurations page. Before we begin, I'll show you the file cabinet we just built. Accounting demo here. If I click on it, you'll see I have version management selected and automatically create new versions selected as well. Let's close out our configurations page and bring in a document into our document tray. So I'm going to bring in a Word document. Just drag and drop that there. So we have that imported into our document tray now. So what I want to do is take this document and simply store it into our accounting demo file cabinet, which, as you remember, has version control management turned on. Let's just hit store. So the document was taken out of my document tray and now should be my file cabinet. So if I do a search for the accounting demo file cabinet, there's my document here. Now, let's right click and go to checkout. Check it out to my document tray. There's our document there. Now, one thing you'll notice that when a document's checked out, you'll see a tiny little pencil down there in the far bottom right hand corner. It might be kind of hard to see on the screen, but it's down there because this document's checked out. Right click and go to edit. This will bring our document up in Word, the original format. I'm just going to make a simple edit here for demo purposes. So you can see that. There's my big edit. Hit file and save. Now we'll close this document out. Now if I double click on this document, you'll see our new edit there. Let's go ahead and check this back in. Right click, check in. Here's where we can determine what version we're using. This is version number two. We can add a comment. Then click check in. Our document has then went from our document tray back into our file cabinet. So if I, if I double click on that, you'll see our edit there. Let's do one more edit just so I can show you version management. Again, I'm going to check this out. It's in my document tray. Go to edit. Hit save. Close that out. Again, you'll see that pencil tool down there if this document's checked out. Let's check it back in. Version number three. Go back to our file cabinet here. There's our second edit there. Now if you want to see the document um, version history, right click and go down to open document history. And now this is going to show us all three versions of this document that was stored within DocuWare. 
along with our comment there. Uh, if I had a comment on the third version, you'd see that up there as well. Now let's say we want to go back and make this our current version. Number two, right click, and go down to set as current version. Now you'll see that version number two is our current version, version number three and version number four, I'm sorry, version number three and version number one are out of date. And that is how you, and that is how, and that is version management within Docuware version 6.12.